Hey guys, Studio of Essentials here. Now we all know that it's really hard to work in a closet that's in a rented space to suit your style. So this is what a typical rented closet space looks like. And mine also is the same. You guys ready for this? This was how my closet used to look like. It was such a mess and so embarrassing. I've just not had time to put things where they were supposed to be. It's all clustered and then look at the space I've got up there. It's perfect for extra storage. But like I said, I've never really had time to focus on my closet. It's going to be a lot of work, but I got this. Now I'm going to share with you guys step-by-step -step procedures on what I did to convert my closet into something that I like. And I started by removing everything I've got in the closet. Now that I have an empty canvas to work with, I'll start with repositioning my cube storage. Next will be to cover some part of my wall with this contact paper that I got from Family Dollar. I've had this for a while now and today I'm finally going to use it. I'll be applying it to foam boards that have been attached with tape to suit the measurements to where I want to put this on my wall. This is where I mounted it. Now the next thing I'll do is get bins and cover two sides of the bins with contact paper. And I got contact paper from Walmart because it's cheaper and I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to be covering all my bins with this contact paper. I added more bins because storage is very essential in a closet. I'll be covering some part of the wall with the same contact paper and I'll be applying this on a trifle board that I got from the Dollar Tree. When attaching the cutout pieces from either a contact paper or a wallpaper, you have to make sure that the pattern is continuous. Now the next thing that I'm going to be making is a hidden storage for my jewelry. I'm using a Walmart mirror and I'll be covering the frame of the mirror with the same contact paper. I kept that aside and then I got wood and covered it with contact paper as well. I made another one. So now I have two pieces of wood. I'm also going to be using a pegboard that I cut to size and I'll be attaching this to the wood pieces. Now I'm going to be attaching hinges to the frame of the mirror. When I was done, I then attached it. I used half inch screws because I didn't want it to come out of the frame. I decided later to use a wider pegboard and this is going to give me much more space on the inside and then space on the outside for other items.
I attached wood on the pegboard. One is to mount it on the wall and the second piece of wood is to keep it flushed on the wall. This is what it looks like and I love it. It's so pretty. And the holes you see inside is where I'm going to be inserting the pegboard accessories to enable me hang my jewelries. These are the accessories that I got from Home Depot. And as you can see, I mounted some on the outside pegboard and some on the inside. The next DIY for my closet will be a glitter wall. And I'll be using a trifle board and glitter foam sheets that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna have lots of squares here because I want it to look like tiles. I attached mine to the wall with tack nails, but then you can use command strips that's meant for lightweight. Now this didn't turn out the way I wanted because it's not so smooth, but let's just see how it goes. The next thing I have in mind is to cover the top with plastic corrugated sheets. I got this from Michael's craft store and I'm going to be measuring it and then making a slight fold. When cutting this, I'll make sure that I don't do it too deep so that I can have a fold without the other part coming off. What I just did can also work on a normal cardboard if you don't have a plastic corrugated sheet. I got storage bins from the Dollar Tree and these are the large sizes and I was so happy to find them. I got three of them and then it's blue. I'm gonna have to cover that up and I'll do that with a diamond wrap. I got three of these bins and I'm going to be repeating the same thing on all three bins. I'll use a pegboard to also hang my purses. This time around, I'm going to be using cup hooks. I'm using cup hooks and short screws. I ran out of long boards and this pegboard was long enough for what I wanted to use it for. So I'm using short screws because it's going to be mounted like any other board. After putting the things in place, my closet that used to look like this now looks much better. I realized that I had lots of clothes that I wasn't even using, so I had to take them all out and then just keep the ones that I use. For other items that I keep in my closet that I use once in a while, I store them in bins. It is a major difference to what it used to look like before. I also added more lighting to the closet. This is what I did to the space at the top. And this is what it used to look like before. Most of my items have been stored in containers and while my memory is still fresh, I'm just gonna have to label all of them to make it easy for me to search for my stuff and find them when I need them. I am so relieved walking into my closet now and also super happy.
Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.